Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Samantha Zunda. Today we are doing a, another everyday makeup draw. So basically I have everything here, one, two, and three, and then these products I leave out. We're gonna talk about what I've been using for the past month, tell you my thoughts on new, old, trying to finish, all that kind of stuff. And then we're gonna go into my makeup drawers and pick new makeup out, which is usually at about the halfway mark. So we're gonna go through these products here first, just because I usually have them sitting here because they don't really fit in my everyday makeup drawer. And I like to have these standing up um, so I remember what I'm using. So first up we have the Revolution IRL All Day Filter. This is a mattifying fixing spray and I really, really like this one. I've actually used quite a bit of it. So it's up to here. And it's one of those ones that you definitely have to shake first. Um, but I really like it. I like the mister. I like everything on it. It's definitely something that I would repurchase. And I'm enjoying using it. I also want to say I have an oily skin type. So that is probably why I really like that. But I do love a glowy foundation still. I just powder it down and then it's still got a glow coming through because I'm so oily. This is the Hourglass Illusion Skin Tint in Ivory. I've been trying to finish this one up because I think they've discontinued this and I don't have much left. I was going to put it back because I want to focus on finishing my project pan foundation um, and then I'll probably bring this in to finish that so I'm going to put it aside for now. Here we have the Emco Beauty Ultra Stay Flawless Foundation. This is a really nice kind of natural finish full coverage. Um, dries down really nicely but it's not actually matte. So this is a really nice long wear foundation natural buildable coverage in the shade classic ivory i'm really sorry my kids are in the background fighting playing screaming so i do apologize i'm trying my best here <laughs> i really like wearing this one to work because it has long wear benefits and it's a really really good foundation then i have the hourglass veil which is basically i think replaced but is nothing like the hourglass illusion um, I have the shade number three. It's a very, very sheer skin tint. I haven't worn it as much because I am trying to just finish my Project Pan one. Um, but I did wear it, but I just didn't wear it as much as I anticipated that I would. And then the last foundation is the Rimmel Lasting Finish. Now this is, as you can kind of see, a little bit darker than my skin tone. But it has a nice shearing effect to it, so I can kind of get away with it, but honestly, I still think it's a little bit too dark. This is the reformulated Rimmel foundation for the lasting finish. So it's got skincare benefits and it's not, it says it's lasting, but I don't know. I think the old one would definitely be more lasting than this one. So let's pick out my drawers now. So it's all a bit of a chaotic mess, but this is my NARS uh, translucent setting powder in crystal. This is fantastic. This is actually really good for dry skin as well because it's really undetectable and finely milled. And everywhere, every time I wear it, you, you cannot tell that I'm wearing powder. It's really, really nice. And I've actually used quite a bit of it. I really enjoy this powder. And I can definitely see myself finishing this. And it's a really nice everyday powder. And it's not like a full baking powder like the Huda Beauty is. It's really just a nice everyday setting powder. Then we have the Makeup Forever HD Skin Matte Velvet in 1N06. And this is, I wear this more as an actual powder foundation, not as a setting. I didn't wear this all the time, but I do really enjoy it. So I like to have it as like a really natural, but um, matte makeup day. And I really like this in summertime because sometimes liquid is just too much and a powder is perfect. So I really enjoyed using that. And it's got to be my most favorite powder foundation. Or I love the Bare Minerals too. Uh, this is the Nabla Skin Bronzing Powder in Umbra. So this is absolutely stunning and I got some good use out of it. You can kind of see that the embossing is slowly disappearing. It's just a really perfectly neutral leaning, cooler toned um, bronzer, but it's got a nice luminescent glow without it being glittery. Then I have my two Laura Mercier. I have the bronze in number two which is like the perfect bronze. It's a matte radiance, so it's baked. It's matte, but it's got a radiance ripple through it. It's absolutely stunning. It reminds me of the Milani ones, if you know what I'm talking about. But the Milani does have a bit of a shimmer in it. This is just a really subtle sheen. It's absolutely stunning. And then the highlight is number one. It's the same formula, the matte radiance baked powder, but in one highlight. And this is my favorite highlighter because it's so natural 
it's not really a highlighter it's more just like a radiance it's absolutely stunning then I have my concealers here so I have my color corrector I didn't use much uh, because I have also a project pan like I don't even color correct on every day so I don't know why I put this in and my project pan but nonetheless <laughs> I did I don't even remember what I thought about it and I wore these quite a lot so I'd say I wore this one the most, the NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serum, just because it's a really nice natural everyday. I don't like that it's not in a doe foot though. I actually don't like that it's in a pump because I don't really like getting my hands dirty when I get do my makeup because I'm far away from the bathroom to wash my hands and I have to use my hands for this basically. That's the only quarrel I have with it, but the actual formula is really beautiful. Then this was new to me, the Australis Fresh and Flawless Conceal and Contour. It's not my favorite. The color that I have is fair and I think it's too fair for me. I think it's a little bit too light and the coverage is like a light to medium. So it's not my favorite, but when I want a really nat natural makeup, I definitely used it. And then this was my full coverage, the Rimmel Multitasker Concealer. I have the shade, I think it's vanilla. Yeah, vanilla, which is a really good shade for me. Um, full coverage. It's kind of like the Too Faced. But I do think the Too Faced is still more full coverage, but a really good full coverage option for the drugstore. This wasn't in here, but I just bought it. The Mecca Max Powder Pencil in Ash Blonde. So this is a new product at Mecca, and I'm really liking it so far, but even the Ash Blonde is really dark, which I don't love. Like that's... It shows up really dark on my brows, which is fascinating. But so far, I'm really, really liking that. So I'll probably just leave that in because with brows, I kind of just don't really care. It's just whatever's there. I had some samples. The Cosses BB Burst. I got the shade number 12. And I've been hearing a lot of people say that this is really patchy and sits on top of the skin. So I decided to use my hands with this. And it was really pretty when I use my hands. I only had a small sample. So I only got one use out of it. Um, because I wanted um, a different shade but I didn't have the tester for it so I could only get number 12 which I actually think was totally fine super super sheer it does remind me of the hourglass veil but um, I can see using a brush or using a sponge will make this patchy um, but using your hands it actually looked really nice on my skin but I don't think I'm gonna buy it it's too glowy for me and I expected that that's why I got a sample I just wanted to try it but that's my thoughts on it. I think if you do have dry skin, it's a no, which is makes no sense because it's really glowy. It's for drier skin. The, um, the finish is better for dry skin. This was the um, Glow Recipe Hue Drops, the new Niacinamide Hue Drops. That was really nice. Certainly don't need it, but I just wanted to try it, and I really enjoyed that. If I didn't have so many other ones, I would definitely buy it. And then this is the LS Fast Skin Veil Foundation. There's still a little bit left, but it's kind of dried up a bit, so I'm not going to bother. But that was really pretty too. M much better for mature and drier skin. I mean, all skin types, but I would say it's better for that skin type. Um, but I just wanted to tell you my thoughts, because I do pick up a lot of samples to try, especially new things. This I don't really like, but I do want to finish it. The Maybelline Curl Bounce. It's one of the only mascaras that actually smudges on me, and I don't really have that issue, but this one gives me that issue, so I don't recommend it. But I do want to finish it, so I'm going to keep it there. Um, I have more lip products. So these are all my lip products. This I bought in Dubai. This is the Kiko Milano, which I'd already had before when I went to Europe um, many years ago. Or was it America? I bought it years ago and I loved it. The 3D Hydra Lip Gloss. So this is all that I bought when I was there in Kiko Milano because I love them so much. I got the shade number 18. It's a little bit too shimmery. So I have to go in really light handed, but the actual formula is 10 out of 10. Then I had the Cool Collagen Plumping Lipstick from Essence. I actually don't love this shade. I think it's too cool toned for me. Um, I don't know. Just recently I think I've become more warm toned over my years. And all of these cooler tones don't look good on me. Unless it's like a literal like purple. But when it's like a neutral leaning cool, it does wash me out, which I find fascinating. So I don't know if I'm going to keep this one. But for now, yes. And then I have the Essence uh, Soft Precise Lip Pencil. I just keep this in because it's a really nice 
everyday lip liner for me. So that just stayed, but I'm going to put that one back. I didn't wear this at all. I did wear red orange lipstick for Harmony Day, but because I was at work, I wore a brand that was at work. So I wore the Bare Minerals Energy, which is a nice red orange lipstick. But this I love. I just didn't wear it, which is such a shame because it's my favorite red orange lipstick. The Bobbi Brown Art Stick in Rich Nude. I love, but it is quite dark on me. So I think this would be a really nice winter lipstick for me. Um, definitely keeping, but yeah, I think this is going to be a more of a love for me in winter time. This I wore a few times. I These are some of my favorite drugstore lip products. The Maybelline Ulti Matte. This is in the shade more Auburn. I also have more Mocha, which was the first one and my one of my most favorite lip products. And then I bought this one, which is just a nice warmer terracotta kind of lip it's absolutely stunning just love the formula love the actual component and the colors i love everything about these and this was the underdog of the month i wore this so much this is the nyx soft matte lip cream in beijing and i wore this with a lip line either this one or the charlotte tilbury one and it's just the perfect pink i'm actually wearing it today um, Ivy had her first soccer match and this is what I wore just a really nice everyday nudie pink absolutely loved it and then lastly from this drawer is the revolution mousse blush this has become one of my most favorite blushes I got the shade blossom rose pink the actual shade of this is stunning I don't usually like cooler pinks but I don't think it's so cool that it washes me out it's just perfect the formula it's quite pigmented so you don't need a lot it's so stunning on the on the cheeks over powder and without powder it's just such a versatile formula it's really really nice okay here's the next random drawer um, I have a powder from essence all about matte fixing compact powder this is really nice this is actually quite new to me which is why I put it in I can see that this is going to break very soon and I just got it which is very annoying you know when it like crumbles here so this one I'm going to have to really try and work through quickly but it's going back I really like it I am a white translucent girly because I am so fair these work really well on me um I actually finished this milk grip primer and I would love to buy the full size. I absolutely loved it. I finished it so quickly. <sighs> so maybe I'll put some more of my minis in to finish them up. Um, but I absolutely adore that. That was a birthday gift from Sephora. So that was cool. Would repurchase. Um, this is my eyeliner that I had. The e.l.f. No Budge Retractable Eyeliner in Charcoal. I did not love this. I just found it, um, it, it goes on my hand fine. But on the eye, I felt like it dragged a little bit. But it's a nice color. It's a really nice charcoal, not black, not gray, really nice color. So I'm, I'm going to keep it for that purpose, but it's not the best formula. I have two more mascaras. So I like to have a variety of mascaras. This is my tubing mascara, Kali Ray. This is what I'm wearing today, the Come Hell or High Water. Um, you can't buy Kali Ray in Australia. However, I got this in the Trend Mood box a while ago I want to say a year or two ago so I'm just trying to finish this one up and it's my favorite tubing mascara oh it is so good like I, there's a lot that I love but there's something about this that is just so beautiful um, but I need to finish it up but I also like to rotate my mascara so I'm going to put it back and then the L'Oreal this is my um, most volumizing mascara that I own this is the Pro XXL volume and it has the two sides. So it has this side, is number two, and then number one is the white side. And this is what I wear if I wanna go out or if I just want really intense lashes, this is what I wear. Cause I don't usually wear fake lashes. This is what I tend to go for. It's a thicker formula. It's, it is, it's what it says. It's very voluminous. Three primers. I have the Dr. Jart Seeker Pair color correcting treatments this isn't necessarily a primer but I kind of use it like a primer but I also wear it alone because it's color correcting but it's also like a foundation in a way it's not really so much coverage but it 
it blends out of green and goes into your skin color so I can use this as just an no makeup makeup day just to counteract my redness um, and just give me a nice base but that's a really nice product that's a product I want to eventually pan because I've used about half of it already this was another underdog this is new to me so the formula is not new but the packaging is new for Australis this is the fresh and flawless see you later pore spot primer and I had never used this before so I know it's been around forever but it was new to me and I absolutely love it because I have oily skin it really smoothed and prepped my foundation beautifully I really enjoyed using that and then the kind collective blur perfection primer color correcting soft focus finish this is just a really nice kind of everyday primer it's got nice hydration uh, I wouldn't say it's super blurring or perfecting but I do think it's a really nice base for foundation and then the rest is color so we have a bronzer from Australis the dewy and daring this was a new shade to me the soulmate it's a little bit darker I didn't use it that much I'll be honest because I have my project pan but I did use it and it's more emollient this is for more natural makeup days this formula I find um, it's more oily than creamy does that make sense these are my favorite but they leak which I don't love like it gets like oil leakage I don't know if you can really see that so I don't love that but their formula is insane and I really want to buy that blush case with the six or is it eight pans of bronzer and blush gosh I want it and get it from Glam Raider or Beauty Bay that's on my hit list but certainly don't need it but that's like at the top of my wish list of things that I would like to get. This is Melon Sorbet and I use this quite a few times. They're just the best formula. If you like a matte liquid blush, the best, best formula. Oh my God, I love. The e.l.f. Luminous Putty Blush in, I think this is Maui. Yeah, in Maui. I didn't use it that much, I'll be honest, because it's so similar to my Project Pan and so I prioritize that, but it's still a really nice blush that I like. I prefer the Luminous over the original formula. And then we have some powder blushes. So this is the Mecca Max Cocoa Rose. Really nice neutral everyday kind of blush. NARS in Behave. Another perfect everyday neutral blush. You cannot go wrong with Behave. And then my favorite blush formula, the RMS Beauty. This is in Bohemian Girl, which is one of their newer shades. It's like a peachy pink. It's absolutely stunning and I love it. And then this is my eyes. So I realize I've got another mascara in here, the Max Factor 2000. I like this, but I don't love it, I'll be honest. I think it's a nice everyday, but I, I, it's not wowing me like some of the others that I own. All right, let's do my little singles first. So the e.l.f. No Budge Shadow Stick in Copper Chic. This is a really nice everyday love love this i love the formula i love the way it shears out it's so pretty i'm really glad that i have this one the rms eye lights one of my favorite eye products in the shade strobe i have about four maybe five of these i think i have five <laughs> and that's the most neutral one then i have this ciate london marbled metals gilt in gilded which is a really nice red i definitely wore this once but I don't think I wore it more than once just because the color is a little bit more unique, but it's the most stunning pot eyeshadow. And then the Charlotte Tilbury, I wore this one to work yesterday, the Hypnotizing Pop Shot in Smoky Quartz. It's a little bit more on the cooler tone side, so, and it does go very smoky on me, obviously, it's called Smoky Quartz, um, but nonetheless, I absolutely love it, and it was a very special buy for me. I just got one, and gosh, like, I'm sorry, but Charlotte Tilbury knows how to do packaging. If nothing else, she does patch packaging really well. And then I totally forgot that I had this because I always, I often do my eyes last. And so I'd always do my base first. And I forgot about my Australis Fresh and Flawless Face Palette. I used it once. I'm pretty sure I only used it once. Isn't that bad? And it's really nice. I have nothing bad to say about it, but I forgot it was there because I put it in the eye section so it's totally my bad but everything is so stunning so I definitely enjoyed it the one time I used it 
Um, I didn't, I probably used this one the least, but I wore this the other day and it's just such a pretty palette. I really love the color story of this palette. What I did was this. And then I put this over and then I did like a liner with this. So I did these three shades and it just looks very, I did it subtly and it was just so beautiful. Like these here are just stunning. I love them. These actually speak to me more than these do, but the shimmers in Australis shimmers are just otherworldly. Highly recommend. I probably use this palette mm, probably the most, the Bobbi Brown, just because it's so easy, the Day and Light eyeshadow palette. And I actually got complimented on this palette a few times just because it's such a, like it looks so boring, right? But it just looks so pretty on the eyes. So you can kind of see um, that I love this one and I love this one and I love this one and I love this one. <laughs> They're the, probably the main ones that I loved. Just a really pretty, reliable, solid palette. It's one of those palettes that I would just always keep because of that reason. The Nude by Nature I have in Soft Rose and I love this one too. Similar to Bobbi Brown where she's just reliable. Always provides a really good look. The only thing it lacks is versatility. This is the only matte shade and then the rest are shimmers. Um, these are my two favorite to pair together. It's not really showing up. It's showing up kind of red, but it's actually more of a purple. So maybe my white balance isn't so great. No, it's still kind of showing up more ready, but it's a really nice burgundy purple mauve, I don't know, kind of shade, but these look really accurate. Um, just a really nice easy palette to use not like the most revolutionary formula, but really nice And then one of my favorites is the Glaminatrix nearly natural palette You can't go wrong It is the most stunning palette of all time Look at it. Oh My god Like even in real life, it's even more sparkly Glaminatrix and their shimmers. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I mean, I don't even need to say anything. That's just the perfect palette. All right, so that's everything. I'm going to put everything away. And we're going to pick some new items. All right, here we have my powders, setting sprays, and primers. And we've got a lot of primers. So let's pick powders first. I usually pick one loose and one pressed. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to go with the Tatcha. The Tatcha Silk Powder. It's something that I would like to finish up. It's really nice for every day. It's not good for baking or setting with a powder puff. It's really nice light wash of powder. So I'm going to add that one in. And then for pressed, um, actually maybe I'll go because the other one is so light let's go the Australis fresh and flawless in I think this is yeah light beige and this is a powder foundation but also if I want to like have more fuller coverage powder that's a really nice option for setting spray let's do this one I don't even think I've used this one yet this is the Australis fresh and flawless matte finishing spritz maybe I have used it oh no Maybe once, but I don't I don't think I've really used this. So let's add that one in. And then for primer, I want to pick a few out. I think I'm going to do three. I'm going to do the Mecca Max Blur Stick. This is just, you put it straight on and that's it. It's really nice. Very easy for easy days. The Kind Collective Miracle Glow Serum. This is in the pearl. Um, really nice add in or wear alone kind of product just a really nice shimmer but it's really hydrating at the same time and it's not too much it's less than the Charlotte Tilbury that's for sure it's just a really nice lip from within glow and then I'm gonna do my elf Paulus putty putty primer I just want to kind of work my way through this one a little bit because I've had it for a while and I also have the cookies and cream one but I want to finish this one first this is the drawer that wants to collapse for obvious reasons. Okay, let's pick out. There's a few I haven't used in a while that I think I want to use. I want to use my perfect cover number 23.
from Meisha. It's got really good coverage, but it looks really healthy on the skin as well. So let's add that one in. I want to add in the mud. I haven't used this in a long time. This one is from Woolies. It's like $6. And this is the shade Ivory, and it's really a good long wear as well, this one. Such a pretty foundation. Definitely, if you're on a budget, this is the foundation for you and your Australian. And we'll go over this side that I haven't worn in a while. I miss that one. So let's do the Revlon light cover foundation and I haven't really used this much this is in the shade 150 buff and it's supposed to be like nice light coverage but more of a matte finish so better for oilier skin which I'm really into it's looking a little bit on the lighter side but hopefully we can make it work and then I got this one at work N1 Studio Radiance MAC face and body but I don't think I've even used it yet so let's do that for a sheer a moment. Oh, I just put out so much. That's a lot. But that's our nice kind of tinted moisturizer every day. Foundation. Concealer. Concealer. I really want this one. I'm trying to finish it. I want to use some that I just really need to get some usage out of. I think I'm definitely going to put in my green color corrector. Get some use out of that one from Emco Beauty. Tom Ford. This is the Emotion Proof Concealer in the shade, I think it's buff. Yeah. I just, um, I've had it for a while. I find it to be actually pretty average. I don't hate it, but I don't love it. So, um, and it's quite small, so I want to get some usage out of that and eventually finish it. Then I will do a full coverage. Let's do the Born This Way Multi Sculpting Concealer in Snow. This is a mini, but ironically, the same size as the full size Tom Ford. Um, and this is just a very full coverage option. I just like to have a variety. And the Tom Ford's more of a medium coverage. So in saying that, I might go for this one, which even though it says full coverage, I find it to be a lighter coverage, the LYS Triple Fix for my more natural everyday makeup days. So they're the three I'm going to put in. Oh, and the green color corrector, my bad. I'll just show you what that looks like. Obviously it shears out. And then let's pick a face palette. I really think that would be nice for this one. This one. I think I'm going to do the Laura Messier. It's a blush palette, blush and highlight palette, but it's so pretty and I really love it. Laura Messier does the prettiest blushes and highlighters in my opinion. They're really soft and subtle and super wearable. So let's swatch it. That's kind of what it looks like. They don't, I can't say they swatch amazing, but they look beautiful on the skin. All right, here we have highlight, bronzer, blush kind of emerged what I was thinking of doing is hmm, it's more suitable in winter though let's do highlighter first let's put this Astralis one in I don't think I've put this one in before this is the Julian Daring Illuminating Face Glaze. We've got a little bit of Astralis this round, but a lot of their stuff is kind of new to me. So this, I think, is a highlighter, but also face hybrid. But I think I just put it in the highlighter section. So I'd like to get some more use out of that. It feels more on the highlighter side in terms of texture than like a base. And then for powder, maybe put this one in this is the cloud chaser cosmetics cloud veil and iridescent glow and this is quite blinding but also really pretty on the eyes if I do say so myself and cloud chaser cosmetics this was gifted to me they are an Australian brand indie brand they do a lot of beautiful single shadows but they brought out highlighters and just look how pretty that is isn't it so pretty? So it looks like a rainbow here, but on the face, 
it doesn't it just looks stunning okay, so that's highlighter and then bronzer let's pick a cream maybe yeah let's do that oxx bronze i haven't used this one in a while this is the bronze balm in fawn and i remember loving this i don't love the packaging though but it really shears out very balmy so let's do that one for sure and for powder for a Milani haven't used a Milani in a while the one that I have is quite warm so let's, let's do the DB get glowing this is the pressed mineral bronzer in Barcelona bronze this is an Australian brand That's not swatching well, but it's a really nice bronzer if you have fair skin because it's really nice and light and neutral. Maybe swinging a little cool. It's really, really pretty. For blush, gosh, I need to use this. I really like it. Let's put it in. This is the Max Factor Infused Cream Blush in Vintage Peony. I don't know what's going on with my focus. I'm having some issues with my camera. But this is a really pretty color. It's got shimmer in it. But it shears out and it's like a nice neutral ready tone. It's so pretty. So let's do that one. That shade's too similar, but let's do Bohemian Rose from Nude Sticks. One of my all-time favorite blush shades. And this is a dewy, the the dewy formula. It kind of reminds me of this in the shade but this is matte and this is dewy and this can be used on the lips as well and i actually really want this pink one i've been seeing this around on social media and i've always had it um i bought these when they first came out this is the share on the glow blush from pixie in the shade fleur and it's such a pretty pink color So let's do that one too. So that's three cream. I think that's sufficient for cream. And then we have the face palette. So I'm not going to do too much powder brush. I might put Kylie in. This is Winter Kiss. It's just a really pretty pink that I love. And I think we need to pick a warm powder. Maybe Guava from... Mecca Max, this is Guava Blossom. Yeah, let's do that one. I think that'll be nice. Okay, here we have brows, eyeliners, lip liners, mascaras, and all my single shadows. I'm not going to pick brows. I'm going to pick one eyeliner that I just try and get some use out of. Actually, I know exactly what I want to do. I want the Charlotte Tilbury. I've been really loving a deep ready brown eyeliner i've been doing it with lip with eye um with eyeshadows so this is the pillow talk and it's a mini that i got and i just love the color so pretty let's definitely do that one lip liners i don't pick because it just depends on what lip i'm doing and i just opened this one i'd had it for so long and i kept getting new ones that i was opening and so i finally opened this i thought it was the burgundy one but it's not it's the black one i bought it this as a set and i just assumed because this is burgundy this would be burgundy but it's not it's the black anyway i'm gonna put it in and get some use out of it because i want the burgundy one let's do the brown black Emco Beauty Extend Lash or my brown option and it's also tubing I also have the black but I love the brown black and let's go I haven't used this much let's do this one this is the Astralis Fake It I bought it for the video that I did for every day for a full face of Astralis yeah, this is going to be a more volumizing one. Single eyeshadows. Hard to get that angle on this. But essentially I've got like little ones, um, circular ones here, and then sticks and then creams up here. So for sticks, I ruined my Bobbi Brown. I'm so devo, but I'm going to use it. 
um, I dropped it. It fell out and it dropped, but I tried to recover it. But see how, see how gross it looks. But I'm going to put it in. This is the shade Taupe because it's beautiful. Maybe I could do like this bronzy shade to pair with it. Even those three together are really nice. It's from the Kind Collective, but this doesn't have shade names because it was bought. You bought it in like a five pack. But it's the dark bronzy shade. I just recently got this from work from Stilla. It is the suede shade in sheer stone. And I would like to play with it. See, so yeah, it does have a nice sheerness to it. I just don't know if that's going to wash me out. But I would like to play with it. It's a very pretty colour. And then I want to pick... Oh, I do love this. This is the Natasha Denona Duochrome in top coat in brown mauve and purple. And that's kind of what it is. It's really just a top layer. But this would be really pretty over one of my cream shadows. Even this stiller one. It's actually so pretty on the eyes. This swatch is not doing it justice. Um, I think these two would go really well together. And maybe one more. Maybe a little Oyster Pearl from Charlotte Tilbury. Yeah, let's do that. Lovely. Lips. Liberty Lips. I wanted... I wanted to put Heather in from Bite Beauty, which I know is, is um, no longer. But it's like the perfect colour. It looks so nice on my skin tone. It's the shade Heather. I'm going to put that one in. Let's do this lip gloss from Fenty. This is in Pink Dragonfly, which is Dragonfly? Dragonfly, yeah. Uh, from the Christmas. So I don't know if that's a permanent shade. I really want some lipsticks. Let's do this one. This is from Urban Decay Stark Naked in a Comfort Matte. Beautiful. Let's do this color from the Kind Collective. This is the High Shine Lipstick in Gentle. More of a cooler toned option. We need something pinky. Pinky, pinky. Maybe a Charlotte Tilbury. I actually, you know what I want to put in? I just got this one from work. This is the Too Faced Lip Injection Lip Balm in... I don't know. It doesn't say the shade. It's a very subtle pink, but with a lip liner that would look really pretty. And maybe one more. I might do a red. I'm going to do the Rose Ink in 16. It's like my perfect everyday red. You can see I've used it a lot. There we go. And then I'm going to quickly pick some eyeshadows because I have somewhere to go. <laughs> and I want to pick, let's go with the NARS. I'm loving smaller palettes in suede. It's more of a cooler toned option. And I just, I love NARS eyeshadows. I really do. I really miss my Torps palette from Juvia's Place. So let's put that in. That's like one of my most favorite all-time palettes. The tones are just like nothing else I own. I just got this from work, the Naked 3 Urban Decay Mini, which I'd like to get some use out of. We've got a lot of cool tones. So let's definitely pick something a little bit warmer and more fun. This could be fun. The Alter Ego Mirage. I have a discount code with them, which I will have on the screen and link down below. Really good um, if you don't want to fork out for, you know, hundreds of dollars for an eyeshadow palette. Formula is fantastic on these. Let's go Too Faced Sweet Peach, huh? Take it a bit old school. Absolutely love this one. She's solid and I do miss it. It's a good good palette. All right, let's do those. So we have one, 
two, three, four, five palettes. And then we have some single eyeshadows as well. Okay, so that is everything. Here is my foundations, my eyeshadows, my lips, blush, highlighter, and bronze, and then my uh, powders, primers, concealers, um, and mascaras in there. So that is everything. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I so appreciate you, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.